This week in science, we're talking all about Venus, which is finally getting some long overdue attention. Now, you've probably heard of all of those missions we've been sending up to Mars lately, but of the four rocky planets in the solar system, Venus is the one we know the least about. We do know it's pretty hellish there. Thick clouds of sulfuric acid, surface temperatures hot enough to melt lead, and air pressures 90 times that of Earth. And it all makes it pretty hard to study. The first Russian landers could only send back a few measurements from the surface before they were crushed, like pop cans. And aside from a couple of flybys, NASA hasn't sent anything to Venus since the Magellan Orbiter crash landed there in 1994. But interest in the planet got a huge boost last year when scientists in the UK claimed to have detected phosphine gas in Venus's atmosphere. And there's not really a good reason why it should be there, except if there were living things producing it. Think microorganisms floating around in those Venus clouds. Now, there's a lot of uncertainty surrounding that phosphine finding, but regardless, now everybody's going. Europe is planning a mission, same with India, Russia, a private company called Rocket Lab, and finally NASA, which is planning to send two missions to Venus before the decade is out. Now, the first is Da Vinci Plus, that will take precise measurements of the planet's atmosphere, and Veritas, which will chart a 3D map of the surface. Between them, we should find out if Venus ever had an ocean, if it has plate tectonics, volcanoes, earthquakes, and maybe the most important one for us, why its atmosphere is the way it is. Venus, after all, could have been a lot like Earth before a runaway greenhouse effect turned it into a hellscape. And with this planet heating up, that makes Venus kind of a cautionary tale, one worth knowing down to the very last detail. And an added science side benefit here, we know there are lots of planets just like Venus outside of the solar system. So learning about the one we have nearby will teach us about them too. With This Week in Science on City News, I'm News 1130's Curtis Doring.